because new haircut means new model snapshots, how to take modeling headshots and model digitals at home with an iPhone by yourself. Got a hole in my bag. My name is Lucy Petit, I'm a French model in Hong Kong and in this video I'm gonna show you how to take modeling digitals the best way and in details to really give you the best chances to either apply to modeling agencies or at some casting calls because if you don't do it properly there's a lot of chances that you will never hear back from them. Oh hell no! Now if you're in a rush I made a 30 second video that intensely summarizes how to take snapshots at home. I'll put the link in the descriptions or maybe somewhere here. But I do encourage you to watch this one until the end because model digitals are so important. It's the first impression you give to either a casting director or a modeling agency. So you wanna be doing it properly. And I will be giving you three extra tips to look even more professional. Do you want to become a model? Become a successful model? Get all the tips you need on my channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when a new video is up. Alright, let's dig in right now and not waste any time. You've got some modeling snapshots to take at the end of this video, girl. 1. Vocabulary first. What are model headshots? model snapshots, model digitals, and model polaroids, and what's the difference? These are unedited photos of a model or a talent to show what that person would look like naturally without any editing, really like if that person was standing in front of you in person. Now, what's the difference in between all these names? Truth is, there's none. Besides headshots being more focused on the head, Snapshots, digitals, and Polaroids are all the same. The reason why there's so many different names is because different markets call it a different way. For example, model digitals is common in the US and has replaced the old school model Polaroids that is still sometimes used in Europe. Although it's not technically Polaroids anymore because hey, it's the 21st century, we've got to adapt, right? <laughs> model snapshots, it's common everywhere and pretty much international. Two, when to take model digitals? Ideally, you'd like to take your snaps. By the way, just in case there weren't enough names already, you can call modeling snapshots, snaps, and modeling polaroids, pola. No! No! In the morning, on an empty stomach, or at least, <laughs> not empty, but you know, not after a big meal, so you are at your best shape possible for your model digitals. You're also gonna want to take your modeling headshots on a good day where you have a good skin, right? So no pimples ahead, you want ideally a few days before that to be drinking more water, you know, take care of your skin, eat a healthy diet. I mean, ideally you should be doing that every day, but at least a little bit before your snaps, that would be helpful. Uh, maybe working out as well a little bit so you can sweat throughout this beautiful pose of yours and achieve this beautiful flowy glowy skin. Three, where to take model digitals? You need a really good lighting and a plain background. Ideally, you want to find a white wall nearby, a big window that brings a lot of natural light without so much fluff around, so if there are frames or posters or whatever around, you want to declutter and actually remove all this stuff so it's as plain as possible. If there are furnitures, you move them around as well. You want it to be as clean, as, you know, nice as possible, like if it was really a plain background. And please don't be that girl too lazy to move things around thinking that it's gonna be okay, it doesn't matter that much. Yes, it does. Again, you know, you've got one first impression to give. You want to really do it at its best as possible, so you won't regret it later if they don't get back to you. Denied. Also, make sure you've got enough distance to shoot yourself. Nope. Not shoot yourself. Take your snapshots yourself, please. Do not shoot yourself uh, because you need enough distance already. You know, you're gonna be wearing heels, so you need to make sure that you're gonna fit in that frame fully. And you do not want to have any fisheye lens. Hey, what happened? Now, if you live in a cave or, you know, somewhere that doesn't have, unfortunately, that much uh, natural sunlight, you may want to consider taking them outdoors. 
but you do not want to take them in direct sunlight because it's going to be way too bright and you most likely going to be like ideally face the light directly in front of you so that there is no weird shadows on your face or on your body that would make you look less symmetrical than you are in my case there's a really nice sunlight coming from the big window in the living room but there's way too much fluff around so i'm not gonna take it there and i'm actually gonna bring it to the bedroom another solution would be to hang white sheets in the background but that could be really messy depending on how you're doing it if the natural light coming from the window is not facing you directly you're gonna be wanting to balance it out with the light coming from the opposite direction so in my case i'm using a light ring because this is good enough and it's gonna allow me to look symmetrical because the light is coming from both sides so as you can see the natural light is coming from the big window on my right and a smaller one in front so i've added a ring light on my left Four, what to wear for modeling digitals. Makeup. Although some agencies tell you not to wear any makeup at all, you should be wearing a little bit of makeup, but something really natural, very simple, like a bit of mascara, a bit of um, concealer to cover your dark circles, and that's it. You do not want to be wearing any fake things like, you know, avoid uh, contact lenses, fake lashes, these kind of things. No contouring, please. They're trying to see what you really look like naturally at your best. Clothing. You want to wear black fitted clothes with no brands that show your body shape. And if you're comfortable, you can wear black swimwear or basic black underwear with no particular details, like no lace or such things. Ideally, do both black casual wear and black swimwear or underwear for your digitals, so it shows your potentials for this type of jobs. And if you do take some swimwear or uh, underwear digitals, you want to ideally take this one first, so you don't get any marks uh, from leggings or jeans you could be wearing. <laughs> Also important, remove all your jewelry and accessories, please. Shoes. You want to wear black high heels, of course. You can wear two different ones. One more open for the swimwear underwear, so that it makes your legs longer, because it's going to show more skin until the tip of your toe. And one more close for the casual wear, because obviously it's also going to be making your legs longer, because it's going to Follow the jeans or the legging you're wearing until the tip of your toe. 5. How to take model digitals. Again, you want to be facing the light or the window so there's no weird shadows. And I would recommend you to look at the modeling website so you can actually see what kind of snapshots they're expecting. But what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to take them all so that it doesn't leave you any option to miss out on some of the snapshots that they could expect from you. The camera needs to be straight, never in an angle. Avoid taking your snapshots using selfie mode, so instead of using the front camera, you'd like to use the back camera or the rear camera, because the quality is always higher and so it's gonna give you a sharper look. And remember, never fisheye. Start with the modeling headshots. A few inches later. Front, three quarter, side, on each side and front smile a few moments later front three quarter side on each side and front smile one eternity later front three quarter side on each side and front smile uh. <laughs> Got it. on top of the standard shots if you have a bit more experience you can also give them a few poses to show different expressions. Bonus tip 1. Pose video. That's also if you have a bit more experience, you want to give them a variety of different expressions and actually be showing them that in a video. Bonus tip number 2. Introduction video. This is a video where you introduce your name, where you're from, your height, Sometimes you're modeling experience, you can tell them as well your hobbies. You ideally want to finish saying that you are looking forward to work with them and with a smile, so it gives them 
a nice feeling at the end of this video. Hello, my name is Lucy. I'm a French model based in Hong Kong. I'm 177, that's 5'10. I can speak fluently English. Uh, je peux parler français. No sequence, use your compte en moi. <laughs> Not really, but like, just the basics. Um, I love acting, I enjoy video editing and wake surfing during my time off and I'm looking forward to work with you. And that's either if you are a beginner or more advanced, I would recommend you to do it because it's really an add-on and it's something that they would ask you anyway later if you need to sign with them. For full body, place the camera a touch lower than your hips level so it will make you look a bit taller. Taller for Snapchat, it's always better, but don't go too crazy because they don't want fake bodies, okay? It's still gonna look natural. <laughs> I'm personally taking all my shots in 916s because I don't have enough distance to take it in 4.3, but ideally 4.3 would be better because it's more of a standard. But as long as they're all the same, it doesn't matter that much. The advantage in 916s when you take the full body is that it actually makes you look long and slim. So that's a good thing. Meanwhile, front, three quarter, side, on each side, and back. Eventually. On top of the standard shots, if you have a bit more experience, you can also give them a few poses to show different expressions, like before. Bonus tip number three, catwalk video. If you can do it in a studio, they would look more professional, but you can also do it at home as long as you, again, declutter all the space around and make it look as nice as possible. You don't want to have any shopping bag, delivery bags, like whatever it is, like try to move all these things around so it's as clean as possible. Like the full body shots, you want to take it from a slightly lower angle, so it really makes you look taller. Uh, some agencies like it when you actually get it done by someone who is filming you, so they can follow the movement. But some others actually prefer when it's stable, so not moving, so that they can really focus on your walk. But the title of this video is At Home, By Yourself. So this is the way we're going to be doing it. <laughs> you put all these photos and videos into organized folders online so you can share it easily with agencies or casting directors. If you're not sure how to, I invite you to check out this video here where I also give you some tips to apply to agencies internationally. Do you want more tips to become a successful model? Make sure to give me a thumb up and check out this playlist to get you started. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!